Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here, coming out of the repairs of the Breach series, finding the paths to dwell in. Yep, we're talking about feast days, holy convocations, and such. If you've been around, if you've been around Hermes Academy for a while, you know that every holy day season we tend to put out a lot more classes around the feast days as we want to make people aware of these feast days because they are extremely important. So we're coming up on Passover here in a little over a month from now, um, which will start the spring feast. You have Passover, unleavened bread, and the feast of first fruits up first. And so we've been putting out a few classes. Now the last class we gave was talking about unleavened bread and how it is the sign on our forehead and or between our eyes and how it is on the sign on our hand as well but as I was looking up some information from that another verse jumped out at me and I wanted to share that with you alright so first of all let me come over here to the book of Revelation over here in chapter 7 verse 3 you can read there where it's talking about the service of God being sealed in their foreheads. Now, there's a lot of people out here trying to figure out what this seal is. This is extremely important. We understand that when you look down there in chapter 7, verse 4, it talks about how there are 144,000 individuals that will have this seal in their forehead. And so there's a lot of people trying to figure out what this seal is. But let me show you something the Father brought to my attention earlier today. It's coming out of the book of 2 Second Esdras, that's right. We finally got a digital copy of Second Esdras. Um, we got one from a place called ebible.org forward slash PDF. Um, and you can see that up there if you wanted to go over and uh, download a copy of it to your computer. Um, like we did. But there's something I want to show you here in verse 38. Alright, now looking down here in verse 38, it says, Arise and stand up and see the number of those who have been sealed at the Lord's feast. Now, this jumped out at me today right here because it's talking about how these individuals are sealed at the Lord's feast. Um, it's talking about the heavenly kingdoms and how these individuals will go into these heavenly kingdoms and it talks about how they are uh, separated from the shadow of the world up here in in uh, verse 36 here in the book of second Esther. and so what I believe this is pointing to or trying to tell us is that the individuals the 144,000 are sealed during the Lord's feast now that does make sense because if you jump back over to the book of Exodus and you get into chapter 12 of the book of Exodus, you'll see how the feast of Passover played a, an extremely important role in the liberation of the children of Israel from Egypt. They were required to do the feast of Passover. Um, right before they left Egypt and then when you get on into numbers I think chapter 9 you see that they did it one year later as they were building right after they had built the uh, first tabernacle there so I believe our scripture is lining up to let us know that these feast days have something to do with the seal in our forehead. All right, now another clue over here in Second Ezra chapter two is when you jump down here in verse forty-two, where he says, "I Ezra saw upon Mount Zion a great multitude whom." I could not number. Now that's something else that kind of gives us a hint that is talking about the same thing over there in, in the book of Revelations when they talk about a multitude that can't be numbered. We hear those almost those exact same words over there in the book of Revelation. But let me show you one more thing in the book of Exodus before I close this video out. And that's down here in chapter 13 and verse 6 where it's talking about the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now this is the second feast of the Lord that comes in the first month. This is the second feast of the year to be matter of fact. And when you look down here in uh, chapter 13 verse 9 you can see how the Father says that it shall be a sign unto thine hand and, and for a memorial between thine eyes. Alright so when you look at the synonyms for the word sign you can see that mark is a synonym for the word sign 
But let me jump down here to verse 16. Let me show you something else. It's just all talking about the Feast of Unleavened Bread and how it's important. When you get down here to verse 16, it says, And it shall be for a token upon thine hand and frontless between thine eyes. Now, anything between your eyes is going to be on your forehead. And then it's talking about this token that's on your forehead and between your eyes. And even the word um, token has a synonym for mark but let me show you this right here is in chapter 13 verse 16 but I'm gonna jump over here to the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and show you something there when we get to the book of Revelation uh, chapter 13 verse 16 he says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead then now this is talking about the mark of the beast if you see right there in verse 17 but I believe it's easy to understand that the mark of the beast will be the opposite of the mark of the father or the mark of God well I think this is a clue here again letting us know how important these feast days are so I wanted to share that with you as we are approaching these holy day feasts I know there are a lot of people who aren't aware of these feast days as we have been taught for most of our Christian lives to abandon these holy feasts and celebrate man's feasts like Easter and Christmas and that kind of thing. And so we've gotten away from stuff like Passover and unleavened bread and tabernacles and those holy feast days. But as you see here, these 12, these 12,000 individuals are starting to receive that seal or starting to get that, that seal on their hand and on their forehead. Well, I believe this is what it's talking about as these individuals are learning to keep these feasts the same and the same way they were um, separated from Egypt will be separated from modern day Egypt.